Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. Now, this video is going to consist of a lot of Iron Man clips that have just been laying around on my computer and I haven't uploaded in a very long time, simply because they, they took a lot of time to gather. Uh, and I decided to make this one big video showcasing all the progress I did on this account. And e in case I repeat myself in this video, let's say I mention one thing a couple of times, uh, well, it is mainly because the videos are so far between each other. I mean, the clips are so far between each other that, well, when I'm saying one thing on one clip, I probably already forgot that I said that at some time in the past as well. So if I repeat myself, forgive me. But nonetheless, it is going to be a very long Iron Man packed video. And I really do hope you guys will enjoy it. If you do, a simple like will be highly appreciated. Alright, so it has been a while since I've done anything content wise on my Iron Man, but it is uh, now time that I do something else. I'm 93 runecrafting, I left it about 300k away from 94, so when I return to runecrafting, it'll be a pretty fast level to get. Uh, but in the process of going from 90 to 93, almost 94, we got ourselves 12 mil worth of soul runes that we're gonna sell all of them to Mr. Ali Morrisane right now. It's obviously not gonna be a lot of profit, but um, uh, it's still gonna be nice. Wait, I don't know exactly how to do this, I don't always sell stuff to this shop, uh, buy other runes, value, and yeah, there we go, 150 for each, oh, and I did a mistake, so I should move it down here, so it will be easier to sell, um, but basically I'll be selling all of this, get some money, and then I want to train construction, I don't know exactly to what level I can get it, I feel like 97, 98 from the mahogany planks that I have right now, uh, the money might be a little bit of a problem though. We're gonna figure it out. I'll first sell off all these runes, see how much money we make, and then we work from there. Just look at the money here. That's beautiful. Look at it going up, man. However, if this was a regular account, that would be a pain. I'd be losing so much money with each of these sales. And I feel like my fingers are gonna hurt, man. I'll be here for a while. Anyways, let's sell these until we have uh, money. There we go, sold all of them, got 12 million out of that, which is beautiful. Let's go ahead and get ourselves to Castle Wars real quick and uh, see how much money we have in total. I'll go uh, to Miscellanea very quickly and uh, boom, uh, check out my resources or whatever. But just to show you how much I have right now, I have uh, just a little bit, 40, a little bit over 40,000 mahoganies. Do I have any teaks? Not really. So I think... Well, while I will be training construction, I will still have the miscellaneous going, so that's perfectly fine. However, I do not have the space in my bank, so we're just gonna note a couple of things, and uh, we're gonna go get myself my percentages back up, and uh, and then we will we will see what we work from there. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, so here is uh, what uh, we have in the thingy. So we have about 4 million and we have things on mahogany and the herbs. I think that's fine, but I was thinking of just changing it more to mahogany until I'm 99 construction, but there's no real reason to do that. I'll keep the money in as it is, and we're just gonna collect the resources here, see how much we got. Um, and another 1.5k mahogany logs to the collection. Beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and clean all these herbs right now. And then we're gonna start the construction training. Um, but yeah, we should be good. I'm not depositing anything more because I will need the money to make the planks. Let's go ahead and clean the herbs. Training a little bit of construction right now. I do have a lot of planks in my bank. Not enough money to make all the planks though. So I used approximately, what, 14 million cash in just making planks. And I'm gonna use what I made, see what construction level I get. And then once that is all done, we are then going to make more money one way or another. I do wanna get 99 construction, but I will probably end up having like 95, I would assume. And then I can always return back to room crafting for more money. So, uh, but yeah, now I just wanna use these planks, get some experience because I've been just making planks for the past couple of hours and it is not really too enjoyable. There we go, another construction level, and it seems like I still have some planks left, so that is beautiful. A lot of experience to 93, I have no idea how many planks I have left in the bank, but I will just keep doing this and see how long we are here for. Maybe we get a level, maybe we don't, I have no idea. 
Okay, taking Kunar tasks and I'm actually gonna be saving my brimstone keys right now just because I probably want to do a loot from video at some point. So if you're unaware, this is a new update. You can open the brimstone chest and get a loot, but we're actually gonna um, keep those and then do a big video about it in the future. So there's one out of a hundred. Since I recently started to do the farm runs on my main very regularly, I then decided to start doing them on the Iron Man as well. Even though I don't have that many seeds anymore, I still have some maples and Hulkwant. So uh, here we go. We are now 90 farming and we can now plant redwood trees. I already have one going because I pre-planted it with the gardening pie boost. Uh, but while I was away, I got a lot of stuff very close to the level. So we are like 6,000 XP of room crafting level, 30k away from a mining level. Um, and well, we were really close to the farming level as well. So um, I'm playing my, uh, my Iron Man a little bit, but I'm still more uh, focusing on my main right now. Uh, simply because, well, um, I'm doing a like a series for my main account at the moment. Uh, but anyways, I'm still going to be playing, um, my, I'm still playing my Iron Man on the side. However, I do more of those AFK stuff. Uh, so the next thing on the list is probably 99 room crafting. Uh, as I can do that very AFK on the side while I focus on other projects. Uh, but nonetheless, 90 farming is a nice milestone. Here we go, a long time coming. Uh, mainly because I do not play as much these days, but still, here it is, a big level, uh, level 94, room crafting, five more levels to go, and yikes, that experience is not nice to see. Anyways, though, we're gonna keep doing this, we're probably gonna get mining level in the process of room crafting as well, so that's not too bad, uh, and yeah, let's just keep going. Has Spory on the iron. I'm currently gonna be killing some shamans trying to get the dragon warhammer. Just decided that I feel like it and we didn't actually get a bottomless bucket, but I only have 3kc on this account. I don't have any extra Hesporis though, and I'm just gonna be doing farming contracts. I still need to get the Celestius tree to finish the diaries, but I've been pretty unlucky so far on it. Um, however, um, we're just gonna keep doing it, I guess, eventually. We should get it from either contracts or some monsters, and then it will be nice. So at the moment what I'm doing on my Iron Man is I'm just farming uh, Lizardman Shamans. I'm trying to get myself a Dragon Warhammer and the drop is super rare, it's one in 5k I believe. And uh, I'm just gonna quickly price check the loot of every single trip I do. Uh, and this one was about 800k and I'll quickly show you what my inventory looks like when I go and kill them. I do not do them with cannon, I find them just blowpiping them in the new area, the new mulch area. I like it much more relaxing than the cannon method. I know the cannon method is faster though, but I feel like I can grind it out easier if I just do that. And um, yeah, 800k from this trip, a ton more to go. And uh, when I bank, I usually do my farming contracts. I still do not have a Celestius tree. Wait. Yeah, uh, I still don't have a Celestius patch, which I need for completing the Elite Diaries of Kurend area. So uh, this is a gear I, I go with. I do not have Archer Ring on this account yet, unfortunately, so I'm using Ring of Suffering, uh, Necklace of Anguish, Blowpipe, and Assembler, and the rest is basically just the full Shazian Tier 5 armor. Uh, Alright, let's get killing more, le let's kill more Shamans. And this is what my inventory looks like when I, uh, when I go there. I take uh, 5 Antidotes, uh, I take 10 Prayer Potions, and I take 8 Ranging Potions, and I pot up, pot up every time I drop to 106 Prayer. I also take some Alks for while I'm running there and while I'm killing stuff um, because while well, money is always needed, I have a, like, an extra plate bodies in my bank, um, I have a ton of like steel plate bodies as well that I'm gonna Alk and other stuff and I always take like one pa what, one thing to Alk, uh, not many of them, um, but it's, it's nice, it's, it gives me that extra money and uh, I am currently sparing for 99 construction. Um, and I do have almost enough planks, but I don't have enough money yet, so all the extra money does help at this moment. Daily Hespori on the Iron Man. Let's see what do we get. Maybe Bottomless Bucket. And uh, no Bottomless Bucket, but that's perfectly fine. The things I'm doing on this account right now is I'm mostly just chilling, doing the farming contracts, really trying to get that Celestius tree, which for some reason just will never happen. 
Um, I still need to get it though for the diary and that's what I'm focusing on right now and I just do other farming activities just in the guild for now uh, because I'm kind of late kind of lazy on this account um, and I am kind of playing my main more at the moment but it's perfectly okay we're gonna wait one more day for another Hespori and hopefully we get uh, some better stuff then I am currently killing a Kraken and we just got over 2000 KC which is beautiful let's see how much we made in this trip we made about 770k and a we also got a brimstone key. Alright, so here's the thing. You guys know I don't play my Iron Man that much at the moment because I fully focus on playing my main account. But this level is very big because I was searching for a method of like something that's super AFK and alongside rune crafting, which isn't really that much AFK, I couldn't really find anything else, you know, fishing already 99, and then anything else is really not that super heavy AFK. Now this mining level though, and Amethyst, that is gonna be so AFK that I can easily, let's say, even play League and do Amethyst at the same time, I can do whatever, the, wh whatever I want, it is super, super AFK, obviously fairly low XP, but it's definitely something I will take advantage of and AFK um, when I can. Uh, however, I'm still using this room pickaxe. I really do hope I will change that. I should do some wieldy bosses to change that. But I honestly just, at least when you mine here, you don't really feel the difference. But maybe you feel the difference on Amethyst. So I'm not really very well sure. But either way, I have a very AFK method now to do on this account. So I can do whatever I want on my main account. Well, a little bit of an update. I've been mining some Amethyst over the last couple of days, just AFKing it. And, uh, well, we made approximately 5 million from just that. But what I'm going to be doing right now is I'm actually going to be making... Um, I'm gonna be making amethyst arrow tips. This will later on be used with a Tebow if I eventually get it. And look at this crafting experience. I had no idea this gives crafting. I thought this gives fletching XP. Okay, I had absolutely no clue. But basically, I also have um, obviously the headless arrows, and I have arrow shafts, a lot of them, and I have a lot of feathers. Uh, so uh, we are gonna be making these arrows and as you can see I should be getting fletching XP here. Look at those XP drops. That is amazing I think I'll be doing this to 99 fletching um, And I'll just make a ton of amethyst arrows eventually when I get that uh, Twisted bow if I get that twisted bow this will come in very handy and if not I do believe they even have an alt price um, High alk value uh, only 300 each never mind. We're not gonna be alking them, but you get the point um Basically, nice fletching XP, super AFK, and uh, very enjoyable. Alright, so after many hours of mining Amethyst, I now finally have enough um, unidentified minerals to buy what I was wanting to buy at the first place. So here we have superior mining gloves, 120 unidentified minerals, and we can now wear these. And they go really nicely together with the Prospector, and in the process... We basically made ourselves almost 6 mil, beautiful. I'll, uh, it, they don't really give me much that I care for, but I guess it's nice to have. I will uh, make all of these into arrows in a little bit, but right now I think I'll just go mine in the normal mother load. Um, and I will just finish off the mining level, and then I might return to rune crafting. Um, but there we go, we are 220k away, a couple of hours, and we will be done. Hey, there we go, finally, that one took a while, 93 mining, all of it done with Amethyst, I am absolutely in love with this place, I can do whatever I want on my other accounts and just be here and AFK forever on end, you get pretty bad XP, you get like probably around 20k an hour, I probably get even less, but at least I'm gaining something, right, hold on, let me quickly um, get this pin in. And let me quickly show you how many amethyst I have. So I've made all of these uh, arrows already and I also have, well, almost a thousand more. Um, so together that's gonna be, like if this was a regular account, this is a decent way to make money if you just AFK here. Um, super AFK, I really like this place, I'll probably honestly keep going and it will definitely bank me 99 fletching if I decide to do this. Uh, however, I'm not sure if I'll do it all the way, I really should have the dragon pig, but honestly, it's not that bad, I just click and do other stuff on other accounts and it's honestly enjoyable, so I like this place.
So I'm over here agility alking at the moment, just trying to make enough money for a 99 construction. I still don't have enough. Obviously, I still will have to return to Slayer. But a cool thing happened. We just got a virtual level this time around. So we are now level 100 magic, which is pretty interesting. Uh, that is if it was the case. Uh, but anyways, I will be doing this for a little bit. 600,000 XP for 94 agility. Obviously, it takes a very long time. But I'm playing two accounts, two other accounts at the same time. So it's really not that bad. And I am agility alking as well. I'm not really the most efficient at it. I kind of just do a couple of alks per lamp. Uh, but it's still pretty much fine. So... Gonna be doing this for the, I don't know, a little bit longer and then we're gonna figure out what I wanna do from there. Uh, but definitely making money is a priority at the moment because I do wanna get that 99 construction. It is by far the most useful cape in the game. Returning to Slayer on the Iron Man right now, 850k from the first trip, we have about 100 Krakens left. I think we still need quite a lot of... Um, Quite a lot of uh, tentacles to be done with this boss, so I still need the pet as well. Uh, but the way I do it, I actually am alking my boss. I have 7,000 left of this while I'm casting my spells. So it's definitely quite click intensive, but it's what I like to do. And uh, I want to make money, as I stated previously. Also got one brimstone key. Uh, we now have three. I'm probably going to make a separate video opening a bunch of these at the same time. Not quite sure how many I want to do just yet. Uh, but yeah, let's see, um, let's just keep doing Slayer, see how much money we make, and uh, yeah. 1.2 mil. 520k in the next one. Here we go, the task is done. 2,171kc, didn't really get anything special in that one, unfortunately. The last trip, uh, we made ourselves a little bit extra money, so about... Um, well 300k and this is mainly from Alx, so 500k. I will count that in. Uh, some of it is magic longbows Alx, some of it is just drop Alx. Uh, but let's see the next task. Not gonna do the bronze dragons. Sounds like a waste of time. What's next? Uh, worms in the Chrome Slayer dungeon. Don't think I'll be doing those either. Actually, now nah, I'm already 99 fishing. I don't really need a dragon sword or a dragon harpoon, so I can pretty much cancel these. They're not really... Um, very helpful for me. Uh, and I guess we have a chemical hydra. I guess I can go for 35 of them. I'll be doing that on stream, I think, tomorrow, let's say. Um, but yeah, that's pretty nice. I think I'll uh, figure something out what I want to do for now. Perhaps go back to mining. And we're going to be doing uh, hydra at some later date. And finally, we got ourselves a first Celestra seed, which is amazing because... Now I will finally be able to complete the diaries. Uh, I can only plant Celestrus. Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot to put it in the thingy. Uh, but yo, that's epic because if you look at my... Um, where are they? Achievement diaries. Um, look at this. Boom. The last one that I needed was to create my own battle stuff from scratch within the farming guild. And for that, I needed to get the Celestrus seed. And since I haven't really been playing this account much, this was not the easiest thing to get. But now we got it, so... We'll be able to grow it and it's gonna be great. I'm happy. All right, maybe we get a bucket on this account. That would be pretty epic. Watch this. It's gonna be, well, that, that's probably like my second has spot on this account or something like that. Cause obviously I've been just doing like room crafting and mining and just all sorts of different AFK stuff. But yeah, let's see what we get. And we get redwood tree, I guess. I'll, I'll take it, it's fine. Um, and I get yeah, sorry, you know, I'll just plan it. I don't even know what it does. But I have a daddy, yeah, sorry, I'll just plant a new one. So we put that right here. And let's get some contracts going. Dude, let's see if this works. I have a dead tree grow, please survive. Easy, look at it go, man. Healthy tree. Happy. Oh, and look at this. Celestrus, boom, straight in. What do I need to pay? Potato cacti, say no more, dude, I got this. Potato cacti. Oh, fuck. Alright, you cannot die, my friend. Boom. Perfect. Look at it. Beautiful. See? There we go. The task is done. 606 tasks completed. Beautiful trip. Made a lot of money with it, actually, as well. So, really happy with this and a lot of prayer experience as well. I banked most of the bones. Not all of them, though. Um... And just this trip by itself was probably pretty profitable, actually. Let's see. 
just this trip. Nice, 800k right there. Can I teleport here? I can't, I already used it, but I will soon be able to upgrade to this. So let's see what the next task is going to be. 600k away from 98 Slayer. I'm gonna probably start pushing towards 99. And let's see what the next task is. Moment of truth. Fossil Island Wyverns. I'm not gonna do them yet, but if I at some point get the lands, I will do them. So cancel this. Greater demons in the Karun Slayer dungeon. Nope. Water fins. Nope. Trolls in the troll stronghold. Dude, those tasks are pretty dog shit, aren't they? Nope. Turov. Nope. Anku in the Slayer Stronghold Slayer Dungeon. I guess I can do the Ankus. Let's quickly kill three King Black Dragons, I guess. I mean, I'll take the bonus XP. Well, that was quick. There we go. Another task done. Do we get anything too half of a key? I'll take it. Uh, edge build. Okay, vials of blood. Nice. Okay, did a lot of supplies left in the end. Do we get a purple? Is there a, a purple? I do not see a purple. Feels freaking bad, man. What do we get? We get more vials of blood. Dude, that's actually, that looks like that it should be worth a lot of money. Let me price check this. Obviously only KC8, so I'm not really familiar with the drops. That's like 1.2 mil drop in like 30 minutes. Sick. It's really nice. Come on, dude. How cool would it be to see a purple, man? Please, 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 please. Suka, no purple. All right, what do we get? I got nuts. Okay, maybe this one's the purple, dude. Please, I just want to see a purple color. It's going to be great. Watch this. Please, 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 please. Why is there... How do you get purples? They don't exist. I get nuts. Every time. All right, this one right here is a long time coming, man. I've been waiting for that tree and the seed for it for so long it actually is not even funny anymore but there we go that's going to be achievement cape unlocked yet again um that is beautiful we're gonna go to the center if i can uh wait i think i have it in the house uh so we're gonna go in the center we're gonna get the new blessing and we're also going to get the lamp and the lamp is going to give us another level which is super exciting so i think i have it right Fuck, wrong account. Never mind, I do not have it, so let's just go to here real quick. Um, grab the amulet. Uh, actually, it's a talisman, Xerishian. Ta oh, this looks different. And we're gonna go straight to the heart. And here we go, we're going to talk to Elise, and she is going to give us the blessing. Now, the blessing is very useful, the best blessing in the game, basically, so I'm just gonna get a bunch of them. Uh, but most importantly, this antique lamp is actually going to give us a very nice level for an Iron Man, and we're gonna put it straight to the herb lore. And here it is. We got 89 um, herb lore, which is awesome. Um, I think this is also a suitable place to end the episode. I really do, guys. I really do hope you guys did uh, enjoy it. It is a long time. It was a long time coming. Obviously, I don't don't play that account that, sh that much or I kind of did like the AFK stuff basically but either way I really do hope you guys did enjoy it uh, also if you have some spare time you want to check more stuff from me feel free to check out my second channel where I do league stuff and other game stuff and yeah if you're, if you're into that kind of things all the support is very appreciated so yeah thank you for watching and I'll see you around very soon with the main video have a good one boys bye bye